Hey, what is up guys? It's the Dino Gamer back in the video. Today we are going to be talking about a new dinosaur survival game that's coming sometime early next year called Reptiles in Hunt. Ever since the trailer for this game dropped six months ago, I've been seeing it time and time again all over the internet, mainly on Steam. And I have to say, just looking at the trailer and everything about this game, I'm actually pretty impressed with it, but the reason why it took me this long to cover anything relating to this game is because I didn't know how legit it was. And if I'm going to be completely honest, I was just trying to be very careful because when it comes to indie games, it's kind of hard to see who to trust because you never know who's out there trying to scam you. I'm not trying to say that the people behind this game are trying to scam us, I'm just saying you want to be careful. We don't want another Stomping Land or Mesozoica mess on our hands, so you know, I've been trying to be a bit more careful when it comes to that because I have been covering well I had covered games like smaller indie dinosaur games in the past without really acknowledging that so again I'm just trying to be a bit careful now I have done some brief research on the development team behind this game and fun fact they're actually the same development team that brought us Dinosis which if you don't remember was this mysterious dinosaur survival game that was released a couple years back that I don't know about you but I was pretty invested in that was a pretty good game I'm not sure if they did anything else with it because apparently Apparently that game had like chapters in it and I think I only watched up to chapter 1 or to chapter 2 and it ended on a cliffhanger so I'm not sure if they did anything else with that game I'm not sure if they ended it properly but I, I mean I'll probably look into it I would really like to know but basically what I'm trying to say here is they have brought us good games in the past well at least a good game because I'm not sure about you guys but I personally liked the premise of Dinosis. From what I remember it's this apocalyptic world that's overran by dinosaurs a concept that you don't really see a whole lot you know an apocalyptic world that's overran by dinosaurs you often see stuff like the zombie games and uh, you know wars and whatnot when a world is in a, an apocalyptic state that's often you know what you see in video games you don't really suspect you know dinosaurs to be the cause of that so I don't know I just really like the overall premise of it even though you know logically from a logical standpoint it sounds pretty ridiculous but I again was pretty invested into that game so seeing how they've already brought us a, a somewhat good game in the past, I actually have high hopes for something like Reptiles in Hunt. And yes, seeing how, you know, the people behind this game and, you know, the models of the, you know, dinosaurs in the trailers, obviously this game, this is a dinosaur indie game, so it's not like it's going to be this big budget amazing dinosaur game, so it's not like we should expect a whole lot from it. And given from what the description is telling us on Steam, it sounds like there was a lot that actually inspired this game because there's actually a lot in there that sounds pretty familiar. I'll go ahead and read you the description that's on Steam. Over 200 years have passed since the world fell. You are a hunter in a world full of dinosaurs. However, there are creatures much more dangerous than the gigantic reptiles. There are reptilians invading these lands, burning villages and kidnapping children. Save your son from the hands of the reptilians. To do this, you will have to hunt dinosaurs, discover the ruins of the ruined human civilization, and build new, stronger weapons. The game takes the best features from other survival and action games. Take resources from the environment, skin the dinosaurs, and dive into water to search for unique items. Use a drone to find dinos' positions, search dangerous and dark metro tunnels to find unique loot, all of this with a look of third-person perspective. So yeah, even in the description, they talk about how some of their features were inspired by other features and other survival and action games from the past, which I kind of think is pretty cool because it's going to be like a nice little throwback. Maybe there'll be some references. Who knows? A lot of people are getting, uh, based on you know my research that I've done, are getting some Torok vibes here. And I actually really do feel like this is kind of like Torok because not only are there dinosaurs, again, there are reptilians, which are these humanoid reptilian creatures that you basically get to hunt in the game and they're apparently very smart creatures that are able to burn down villages and kidnap children apparently now this is not exactly like Torok in a, like in a sense but it does feel like those creatures from that 2008 Torok game uh, you know, those reptilian lizard-like dinosaur creatures that were that, that you kind of had to uh, battle through the jungle. There was a lot of them, and I think they were like uh, like more intelligent than the dinosaurs, and uh, they were like an evolved version of them. I'm not entirely sure what they were. I just remember playing that mission a while back, and, and these reptilians just totally reminded me of that mission in Torok, where you basically have to run through the jungle with a bunch of these really fast uh, reptilian creatures, intelligent reptilian creatures, 
hunting you and i just I, I thought that was a very interesting concept and i like how they're bringing and incorporating something like that into this game because it should be pretty interesting uh but i what i especially like about this game is the fact that they actually have unique dinosaur models and that is something that i really appreciate in all dinosaur games if they have unique models then i just i'll just really like the game uh, you know, obviously there's other factors to add on as to why I would like a game, but when it comes to something like dinosaur games, I, I just, I, the amount of appreciation I have for people that take the time to make their own dinosaur models, it's just, it's amazing. I really like the fact that people do that. I just don't like when people reuse different models in their games, uh, because it's just, I, I, I don't want to say it's lazy, because it, chances are they're just working with what they have, so I don't think it'd be fair of me to call them lazy because they could be just a very small like company just trying to make a dinosaur game but just working with what they have without using a huge amount of money in their budget to create something like dinosaur models new dinosaur models that is but if there's a company that goes out of their way to do that i highly appreciate it because it just shows how much effort they're trying to put in into these models and it sucks because sometimes you know that goes to waste because these games don't take off and there's tons of examples of like you know previous dinosaur indie games that you know just haven't taken off and have extremely amazing models and i just feel like are completely underrated yeah there's probably other factors as to why those games didn't do as well maybe the gameplay itself wasn't that good maybe the mechanics were terrible but you know as far as the looks goes these dinosaur games these type of dinosaur games they look overall amazing and it's not just the dinosaurs themselves the environment looks pretty good everything looks pretty sleek even the gameplay looks really nice and even if you know this is just exclusive to pc and if you guys don't know me i'm more of a console player so as you guys know uh, of this channel i've been trying to push more towards pc gaming and that's been a bit hard because you know i'm not a pc gamer i really don't know what I'm looking for in a PC. I obviously don't have a PC gaming laptop because, you know, I'm very inexperienced when it comes to PC gaming. So I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of hoping that, you know, if this game, when this game does release, which will be sometime in the first quarter of 2020, I'm hoping to play this game and actually show you guys. Apparently, on the official Steam site of this game, they are giving out uh, some sort of early access codes to uh, YouTubers and stuff so I might actually check that out so see if I could play it early and give you guys my first impressions on the game and if that doesn't happen we always have the actual release date to look forward to which again is gonna release sometime early next year in 2020 now as far as how the model looks they look really good and I'm very impressed with that but as far as how they move and how their animation is they look pretty stiff and awkward, which, you know, it is to be expected. These guys are a small company and they are making an indie dinosaur game, so there's bound to be some flaws lying somewhere. So it makes sense as to why their, you know, the animation might not look, you know, in great quality and might not be the best. But nonetheless, it still looks like it's going to be a good game. And it is possible that stuff like this is subject to change because when it comes to small gaming developers and them making indie games, the more support they usually gain on those games, uh, they usually put it towards improving it. And they release updates and uh, patches. And by the time the full game releases, uh, there's usually some changes and it looks a bit different than what it would look like in, say, like a demo or the trailer that's been released for that game. Now, the game developers who are behind this game, which I don't even think I've said their name yet, I do apologize for that, but their name is Corpix Games. Apparently, they don't actually have a Kickstarter for this game. In fact, the only place I can actually find this game is on Steam. It doesn't have an official website. It doesn't look like it has any social media. So I don't really know what's going on with that. But on the sites that this game has been announced on, a lot of people have different opinions about it. Some people would probably agree with me that this is a pretty interesting concept and that the game itself looks really nice. But a lot of other people are kind of sick and tired of the fact that we're getting a lot of dinosaur survival games and I can kind of agree with them on that. There's a bunch of other stuff that could be worked on in relation to dinosaurs when it comes to video games. And I feel like a lot of people are really focused on the idea of survival games. And there's not, it's not like there's anything wrong with that. I think it's really nice because when it comes to dinosaurs, it fits perfectly with something like a, a survival game with a open world environment. But there's also a bunch of other things that I feel like have not been worked enough. For example, when it comes to something like Oakwood, I really like the idea of a dinosaur horror game. 
you know it's not just like a survival game where you have to collect resources and battle your way uh through like dinosaurs and other obstacles it's an actual horror game where you have to just move around without using things and more use your head rather than using resources and uh, i just i really like games like those and i feel like they're not done enough and i think that's why oakwood uh, what was actually liked by a lot of people. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, and I, I mean, it would be nice to see dinosaurs in other genres like horror, rather than uh, con the constant genre of sci-fi, dinosaur survival, open world games. Don't get me wrong, I really like those concepts, and I really do like open world games, and I liked their incorporation of dinosaurs in them, but it would be nice to see some variations between those games. Uh, something that's maybe a bit more horror related or something that's a bit more thrilling rather than something that's like this sci-fi action adventure game taming dinosaurs and whatnot we've seen that a lot and i feel like people are just trying to look for something different but regardless i just feel like this game does have a lot of potential and it does look good despite the fact that it does seem a bit generic anyways guys that's basically my overall opinion on it what do you guys think of reptiles and hunt are you guys looking forward to it are you guys gonna play it let me know in the comments down below but anyways guys if you enjoyed this video then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more updates on reptiles and hunt because if there are more updates about this game i will cover them here on the channel and uh yeah subscribe for other cool dinosaur stuff i post on this channel that's pretty much all i have to say for now guys thank you so much for watching and please have a nice day